Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to Intermountable. We are on our first first mission and I'm still still confused if I should go for all those Okay, this was my starting point. If I should go for all those things or should I just continue on and I think what happens? What if I go here? Okay, and what if I go here? No, no uh, Back 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 here. Let's let's go there first. Let's go to this uh, Can I make it? Yeah, I think I can make it uh, No, let's go Oh wait time-lapse have I no. Stop 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 no time-lapse Okay. Yeah, let's let's just press forward to the mountain. I'm I'm not sure if I need all those things. Those things all just help me to shrine to get things done. A jingling fills the air around you, harmonious and melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting melodies. You regain. Since health is still okay, I think I, I, I need I need sanity. Okay, when I when I run out of energy, oh no, when I go here, then I'm fine. Yeah, let's let's go there. Let's explore that cave. And then it's, oh wow, it's still uh, way up there. Okay, I see. I wonder what happens when I reach the, the first summit. Unknown ghoul. You enter cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Uh, let's, let's, let's follow the smell. Follow the smell and hear a growl. Fear what's up inside you. Before you can react, something bites your leg. Cursing in pain, uh, you flee the cave. Ah, oh, schnapples. Critical status. When a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. You pass preview turns red once any of your stats reaches a critical level. If you continue to move in this condition, you'll face dangerous critical events. Careful. If your health reaches zero, your run is over. Yes, okay, I just need energy, uh, so let's, okay, this gives me sanity, but loses health, I could sleep, I don't want to, I'm warm enough, I think I will just eat canned food, that's what I do, yes, okay, uh, yeah, let, let's have this encounter. You encounter the cloaked mountaineer again. He's holding a vacuum flask filled with tea in his hand, which he passes to you. He then pulls out some herbs and a torch and offers them to you alterna alternately. I only take the vacuum flask filled with tea. I take the tea and the herbs, take the tea and the torch, I take all his items. I think I like to have the torch. Torch sounds good, yes. All right, torch T, confirm. The mountaineer smiles and bows, then he continues his way. I mean, when, I, when I'm when i unsure what I'm doing here, oh, th this was just a random event, nice. Uh, when when I don't know what why I'm here, what, what's going on on this island, why don't I talk, talk to all those mountaineers? You catch a scent on the wind, burning wood, you follow your nose, and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patched, dingy-looking tent. Next to the tent, the glowing embers of a campfire emit a thin plume of smoke. You look around, not a soul for miles. I search the tent for provisions. I call out in the case of the owners nearby. I continue my thing. Here I lose energy and gain oxygen. Here what I do. Here just you lose. I mean I can call out, lose some energy and maybe I can just sleep in the tent. That That's fine. 
You call out, no response. You call again, still nothing. You briefly consider plundering the tent, but you decide against it. The stranger who owns the tent probably wouldn't take it too kindly to finding uh, to finding their possessions stolen when they return. I totally agree with that. All right. So now what? <laughs> now I'm here. So here, just two things. Ooh, up there, are lots of things going on. And I mean, I missed a few things down there, a couple of things up there, but now I'm already here at, oh wait, there's something. There's uh, the chest. Can I get to the chest safely? Can I get here? How do I wait? Camera? I can get to this chest. Yeah, let's, let's explore that chest. That's good. Skills. You approach a canyon, notice that a rope has been stretched across. Who could have done that? Can you risk using it? I shimmy along the rope to cross the canyon. I turn around and take a detour. Oh, this is getting really cold. I mean, yeah, let's 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 shimmy. The wind tosses you and to and fro as you climb the rope with your arms and legs. You feel your arms growing tired, but you continue across the canyon, inch by inch. When you finally reach the other side, you collapse and relief. I mean, this is a great outcome, I guess. Yeah, okay, can you please now continue? I see, Th those are those dangerous things, I see. So I always get an option, I guess. I wonder, can I dig out this thing? What that? You under a top you discover a large empty cage. Tufts of brownish fur are stuck between the bars. I enter the cage? <laughs> Why that? But okay, let's enter the cage. You find nothing useful, yes. <laughs> but I got level up. This is great. Okay, uh take it slow. Gain some energy, body temperature and oxygen when waking up. Nice. Warm thoughts. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some body temperature. I think I, I get for warm, warm thoughts. Yes. Okay. Got got more skills. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't want to go back because this consumes energy. Think think mountain mountain thingy is my goal. Okay, there I can go. There I can't go. Okay, I see. Can I go there? I can go there. Let's go there. What that? Snowball? Nightfall. And then I guess I have to sleep a second time in my, 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 my tent. So I guess with the limited tents, or I need to sleep more frequently in a in a cave. Is that what I need to do? Maybe. I mean, I could also eat food. What, what hell? Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, hmm. well, I think I will sleep. I, I think I need to to keep up that that food for a bit longer. So yes, let's use that one and sleep long. Body temperature will decrease a bit, but that's fine. I will get energy, which is great. Ten hours time, that's okay. So I guess I really need to to be more careful with my with my tent that I not fail the operation. Okay, now I like to go to that that conversation point here. What does snowflake mean? Don't know. But let's do this. Daybreak. And it's cool. Okay. Ah, this is not the the convers ah the conversation point is there, I see. Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, we do have so many paths. So many things to find. Oh, there's a cave. So I do have the feeling, okay. Do have the feeling I need all those encounters and so on because otherwise I will not make it to the, to the summit. 
I guess. Because if I'm not use all those special things, very large. As you gaze around, you notice a faint light in the distance. It flits back and forth, up and down. Ah, uh, yeah, let's approach it carefully. You see a meandering mountaineer. He seems to be a tense and appears to have lost his way. You are unsure whether or not you should offer him help. I mean, there there seem to be plenty of persons around here. Well, let's let's have, offer him help. Confused, the stranger stares at you for a moment and examines you from your head to your toes. Despite his initial skepticism, he is thankful for your help and shares his provisions with you. Nice. Oh, I get a climbing thingy. This is great, but I wish I would have gotten some food, to be honest. Okay, let's get to this this, this great thingy. So yeah, I, I think I, I really need to, to get all those things, because otherwise I think I won't make it there. <laughs> This is still a long way to go, I guess. Okay. Shrine. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cool is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain warmth energy. I think I need more energy than warmth. This was this was good. Okay, let's let's have a next uh, thingy conversation. Oh man. Yeah, hmm. I think I, I, I currently I feel it's like I should just just use once more or less a straight path and then everything that is on my path grab. Maybe this is how I how, how I'm supposed to do that. Fresh snow pad up I've piled high ahead on of you on a mountain slide. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum flask of tea. That's half buried in the snow. Take the tea and start to... Oh, wow. Continue my journey. Five hours and energy, but I think I need to do that. You dig uh, in the snow until your hands grab hold of a piece of fabric. You continue to dig and finally pull a stranger out of the snow. He's breathing and conscious with no obvious injuries. Ooh, exhausted by over but overjoyed, he hands you a gift, which you gratefully accept. Oh, some more boots and some some tea, and some sanity and XP. So heavy boots. What's those boots? Body temperature, insulated boots. Well, let's let's take those and let's take the tea. Okay. All right. Let's 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 dig out the next chest and then sleep in the cave. Disturbed snow. The snow under your feet is churned up as it recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? Uh, this is just time. I dig around just beneath the surface. I dig deeper. Oh, I don't have energy. Well, that, that's that's great. You move the snow to the left and right with your foot and discover a wooden crate containing provisions. Ooh, uh, a tea again. I, I need canned food. I don't need just tea. But okay, thanks. Well, let's go to that cave. And then sleep in that cave. Right, you enter a cave. It's dry and shattered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Uh, let's follow the light. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize that's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Cool. Okay, let's uh, lie down and sleep. Cave, no tent needed. This is great. So I don't need to use up my tent. I can just sleep. I gain energy which is great so let's sleep body temperature is hopefully all right okay can i oh can't great <laughs> i wanted to say can i can i sleep yes let's get some uh some hot tea in can i um sleep again but apparently i'm, I'm kicked out of the cave <laughs> when i okay so what now 
think I got everything in this area, so I could either make it there, I'm not sure if this helps me, or I could go for that, that shiny ultimate thingy. Can I go for that shiny ultimate thingy up there? Yeah, that one. I could. Let's do. Will be long walk, but let's do. So I feel that energy is more of a problem. I do have the feeling that this is really what, what makes the, the difficulty of the game. It's clear, but windy. Normal wind. Weather tomorrow storm. Oh, Snapples. So it's make it or break it. The icy wind blasts your face as you traverse a canyon. A bright jingling accompanies you. You look up and see glittering icicles hanging from over the overhangs, moving gently. At that moment, a falling spike raises your face, leaving a bloody scratch. It almost hits you in the eye. Wow! Well, oh. let's not do that again, I guess. Um. So yeah, I guess it's somewhat like make it or break it <laughs> when tomorrow is a storm. There's still, still a long way up. Oh man. Okay, I hope I get some, uh, some energy down there. While staring at the starry sky, what? It's daytime. You notice there a shooting star. You quickly make for a wish for uh, energy. Definitely energy. Okay, here yeah, energy is the only thing I really need, I guess, at the moment. Um. Okay, I got everything from here. I could make it over there for another encounter, but I still see, feel when there's a storm coming, I should, should, yeah, I should just, just climb. Might be a mistake. Maybe it's also a key concept to avoid those, those long climbs. Okay, but yeah, it's, it's good that you always have time. Okay, you could follow that frozen thingy. Oh, there, there's a cave, there's an encounter, there's an encounter. It's good to, oh, there, there's might be something cool on this ledge. This would, this would, well, let's first get there, and dig out whatever's in there. Um, Do I wanted to say? Oh dear. I'm, I'm currently just making assumption. I mean, I could go to this cave, maybe sleep there. I'm not sure if I. A crevasse splits the ground in front of you, blocking your way. You risk glance downwards and notice an old backpack hanging from the ledge. You could try to climb down and grab it. Oh, Let, let's let's get down and tr try to get some food. You squat down the edge of the crevasse and lean forward, but the backpack is still well out, well out of reach. I keep trying. I continue my journey. One, one. Mm. Let's try it once more. You lie on flat ground and carefully move toward the edge of the crevasse. Then you lean out and over. The tips of your fingers almost brush the backpack strap, but it's no good. Still just out of reach. Okay, I continue my journey. I used up too much energy already. Uh, man, this this spot would be great. There's a cave. Can oh dear. Okay, I don't have energy for that one. Can I maybe make it there? -ish? Let let's go for that cave, I guess. Let's make it for that cave. And maybe I can uh, have some some tour up there to this to that spot. Where where did I start? Don't see my start anymore, I guess. Oh yeah, uh what what I wanted to say is that you have infinite time when you when you're when you're standing still. This is great. This is a really great great puzzle game. Okay. You enter a cave cautiously. 
A short way ahead, the ground disappears. There's a wide, deep fault in the earth in front of you, stretching from... Okay. I lay down, I explore, then I would have no energy. Can I sleep and then do things? I think then I'm kicked out of this cave again. But let's... I need energy. Let's sleep. Let's make a long sleep. What that? Night. Hope I'm not getting kicked out of the cave again. I'm getting kicked out of the cave. Okay, great. I wanted to... I wanted to get there. Can I get there? So basically, can I get here? Oh, I can get there. There's some risk involved, but that's fine. Yeah, let's do this. I'm already at 5,800 meters, so soon I'm in the death zone. I think once I'm in the death zone... I really need to, to go for it. But yeah, I find it good that I have plenty of time to, to make my, my next move. I hope that this is worth it, getting here on this ledge. To get something useful out of it. I'm getting closer to the summit and I'm really excited what happens once I reach the summit. Ah, there, there, ooh, wait, boulders. As you pick your way across some boulders on the edge of a precipice, precipice you notice an indig indigenous man below you, waving his arm frantically. He's trying to tell you to hurry. Many of the rocks are loose and in danger of plummeting into the depths. I go quickly, I guess. As you hop from rock to rock to escape the danger zone as quickly as you possible, you twist your ankle, of course. You yelp in pain, but you hobble on until you feel, feel firm ground beneath you again. You pause to examine your injury. Your ankle is already swelling up. Great. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? I'm slower. Energy cost on all terrains increase. Oh, great and if I, if I would have done that most likely would have been hit by a rock on my head or so until end of mission warm thoughts controlled breathing euphoria okay snowdrift predictive things can happen night weather clear okay great I really hope that going to that ledge helps me a bit. But tomorrow will be storm. This is not good. When Once I'm done with all those things, what do I do then? I think I will go then for that encounter. And then... Oh man, it's still a long way up. <laughs> oh, this is... This is really an adventure. And I, I'm not, not entirely sure what I should think about the game, but I find it cool. To some degree, I really find it cool. All right, injured mountaineer. A tent hastily erected against the side of a rock wall catches your attention. As you get closer, you discover a sleeping mountaineer. His clothes are torn in places. And you can tell by his face that he's in bad shape. You can't say how long he has left to live. Or whether he will make it. I look through his provisions. Try to help him. Oh, this consumes my energy. I treat him. Okay, I have no bandage. I, okay, let's try to help him and lose all my energy. That's great. You roll the stranger into a recovery position. Speak to him so in a soothing voice. He opens his eyes, looks at you bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him sit up. He's very grateful and shares his provisions with you while assuring that you that he will be all right from now on. I get some... that. Oxygen mask! Okay, let's let's put on that, that oxygen mask, I guess. I wish he would have given me food. Can I make it there? No, I can't. Okay, great. Uh, let's let's eat food and then starve to death, I guess. <laughs> Great. 
Yes. I really hope here get some some energy. Oh man, Ener energy is really the the problem. I think this is with the insurmountable difficulty then. At the foot of a slope, you stumble across the remains of a building. Did it belong to the occupying forces? Parts of it are completely buried under rock. There must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices and small metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Search through the rubble. I continue. Okay, this just takes time, but no energy is. So let's do that one. You walk carefully across the rubble, keeping an eye out for anything useful. You spot a hollow underneath a boulder. Something in there glints as the light falls across it. You carefully reach your hand into the gap and try to grab it. You brush it with your fingertips once, twice. Got it. Provisions. Definitely worth it. Food? Yes, food. Great. All right. Food. And I got a level up. Nice. Oh, no. Uh, conserve strength. Reduced energy cost when moving, but increased time costs. Okay. Reduce time cost when moving and climbing while oxygen is high. Moon thoughts. Um, hmm. I think I go for fresh air. Yes. Okay, great. So let's get that one. Oh, tomorrow's storm again. Great. Limestone cave. You enter an, expan an expensive cave. Countless stalactites hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing, tickling sound they make as they land, as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. Great. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for some years, for years to come. All right, sanity and XP, great. I pushed for energy. Okay, so... There's a chest, there's nothing. I mean, this path is all right, I guess. So let's get here first. This takes up some energy, but it's okay. Yeah, I think energy will really, really be my problem. I think I will run out of energy. Uh, when I try to get to the to the summit. And I'm not sure if I could have done, I mean, I could have continued to explore everything, but I'm not sure if this is really what I need to do. I mean, maybe I need to do, maybe not. Energy cost for climbing is increased. Well, that's perfect. Oh there's, oh, there's an encounter, okay. So here, so basically that way looks rather steepish. I feel like I want to get here and there run out of energy, okay. I want to go here, I run out of energy. Get there, okay, I can't cross here. So if I go there, I'm basically there. Okay, maybe I can go, no. Can't go there, I see. So there's a chest. There's an encounter. When I get to this chest, I'm not sure if it helps me more as going there. This gives me sanity. This is great. Reduces the energy cost for climbing for limited time duration three hours. Maybe, ah, this is how I could. Could have saved energy, I see. Okay, let's, let's eat the food and then, then climbing rope. 
now climbing rope yes now I want to go where where do I want to go I want to go to the encounter I want to go there there I want to go yes okay the question really is could I have done something differently to save energy or to to oh no clonk clonk your climb your way up a sheer wall of ice suddenly feel a frigid draft and a split second later you hear the crash of impact you throw your head back and you see them looming above enormous columns of ice glowing growing along the cliff face one of them just hurtled down into the depths keep climbing i turn around to take a detour uh, let's take a detour i guess the columns of ice don't exactly look stable what if a chunk come loose and knocked you down into the depths you'd rather climb back so i do what now i lost i just lost energy great Oh, I'm in the death zone. The air is getting thin and your breath is, breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficulty path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Decreased energy cost for a short time. I will take it slow. Before I ascend, I will mend my wounds. I will mend my wounds. That's great. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, now I'm I'm in death. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. I stay and look around. I take a detour and continue my journey. E so Do I get something when I look around? I mean 4.2 oxygen seems to be alright. As you clamber over the iron struts, you notice an open crate amidst scrap metal. You lie on your belly to reach it and fish out a few provisions. As you try to get back up, you lose your balance and fall towards and gashing your knee. <laughs> no, why? Uh, and I only got get herbs. Oh, great. I don't want to get herbs, I want to add food. Okay, now I'm out of energy, so now what? Uh, I think I think we will take a break here and um, either start season two next time <laughs> or reach the summit. We'll see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, my name is Happy. See you. Thank you.